Hello, Mr. Thompson. We are today. Boutique Mice Business is very, 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 very uh, glad to be here with you. And we are going to be just uh, please, uh, Mr. Thompson, introducing yourself to the international audience as the person behind the success of the development of this magnificent um, Mice Expo, leading Mice Expo in the world, taking place in Barcelona, especially after last year that it was fully digital, we would like to please uh, introduce yourself to the audience as the event director, exhibition director of IBTM World, which is the leading Mice Expo in the world, and uh, your main responsibilities behind the success of this magnificent, ma magnificent threat show. Uh, David, please. So well, you've just done all that work for me, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, I'm David Thompson, I'm the event director for IBTM World, uh, and welcome. Um, it's great to have you here and to have uh, thousands of people here embracing the, the recovery, really. It's been an amazing two days so far. Uh, it's been an emotional two days, the last two days. Just seeing the, the happiness and the optimism that's running through these halls just represents exactly what our industry is going through, um, which is challenging but optimistic. And I think probably resilience has been the primary word that represents the state of mind that we've been in over these last, what, 12, 18 months. Exactly. Mr. Thompson, that was exactly what I could feel outside having a coffee, stating the, 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 the energy and the, the emotional experience that previously I was not feeling in the trade show. I've been attending as a professional uh, within media, uh, um, providing content uh, to this uh, specific uh, industry, the meeting incentive conference and exhibitions, the mice industry, many years, but never felt the level of energy in terms of enthusiasm, as you have mentioned just now, that this year you can see in the whole environment the people are so motivated and they are so happy to re reunite it uh, after recovery yeah so so in this aspect could you please highlight the major uh, 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 gains that anybody joining this magnificent uh, platform which is IBTM world the leading mice expo in the world what, what are the, why is it a mass attend event for meeting an event professionals, please? Um, well, there's, there's many, there's many elements to this, but I think to, to keep it relatively simple, I think if you look at the theme of the show, it, it's, it's, um, new business, new tech, new world. Um, the fundamentally, the most important part is getting back together again and either reconnecting or finding new people to do business with. That is the most important part of this show. It always has been, to be honest, but it's never been as important as it is now. I think also looking at new tech, so our, our, our industry has fundamentally gone through a significant change in the last 18 months. And so the kind of growth curve or growth learning curve for around digital and tech is, is increased significantly. So, um, you can come to this show, yes, to reconnect and do new business, but also to learn, learn around the new tech solutions and understand how you can implement tech into your event to make it relevant to the time we are in now. And that's absolutely uh, beneficial, as you said, but you also provide with very interesting uh, uh, learning sessions, such as your knowledge uh, programs, where experts are providing advices to many professionals to take it to the next level, incorporating within all the tools, this uh, high tech, uh, uh, relatively new for the industry, for the professionals, for the brands, leaders and venues. So could you please highlight um, your, 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 your programs, uh, your knowledge programs, the major advantages, not only for exhibiting or visiting the show, but also to uh, take the advantage of it as a learning platform to gather new knowledge, tools, and experiences. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we have, so we have, so 
with the, with learning, when you when you create uh, learning platforms in any event, you build it around um, what is the or, or, what's your audience and what do they want fundamentally. So you, we have um, a very strong association event planning audience that comes to the show. So we've created an exclusive conference um, and a series of workshops specifically for them. Um, that ran yesterday afternoon, um, and it was uh, a monumental moment. I will, I will not under, understate it. It was a monumental moment for IBTM because it was the first time that we brought the four major um, associations for association executives together. So we had the four presidents um, from um, the president of the American um, Society for Association Executives, as well as the European, the African, and the Asian Asia Pacific. So we had three out of the four actually in person, um, which was a major uh, statement in itself. But these these four um, sh represent a sign of the times because they are now choosing to collaborate and work together and learn from each other to then allow for the association sets to grow and come out of this recovery. So that was a ma ma massive moment for, for the association sector and for, for the program. We also do um, a, a program specifically for our corporate event planners. So we do the elite corporate program that ran today. Um, and that really just brings in yeah, a lot of the corporate event planners and gives them an opportunity to learn and, and network with one another as well. Um, we have our uh, knowledge program that really is for, for everyone, for the whole community to come together. And we have our keynotes that run through that program. But there's been so many good things that have happened in uh, over these last two days and, and, and also tomorrow. There's been a lot of content in, in that um, conference that has touched on some of the really important things. So for instance, sustainability, uh, wellness, but the biggest thing I've seen for this show is around global trends. I think we all want to know the future more, more, than, more than ever before. Um, and so there's a lot of global trends talks that we're seeing um, that's running through this program. We also have uh, another content platform, which is IBTM Accelerate. So that is full of um, tech, so, so tech presentations. So the latest tech that's providing the latest solutions. But then we've also got a presentation of what I would say the most forward thinking minds in our industry. Um, and so uh, that runs actually for, on, on the show floor and, and has been yeah, hugely successful this year. And you know, all the work that you have mentioned within basically uh, um, less than five minutes, it really describes what is um, IBTM world. It's a monumental platform, elite, knowledge, connections, and most specifically now globally trends are cooking <laughs> in, in the way to deliver the best initiatives currently available in the market. That's why. You are leaders, number one mice expo in the world. An IBTM world in Barcelona, where you are the event director at the helm of the development of this great platform event and opportunity for all the professionals to meet, experience, and the most important, do business together. <laughs> so thank you very much for facilitating us I would like to ask you with your experience, especially putting together events, implementing this amazing uh, new I innovative uh, technology uh, tools, and obviously with your career path, which is uh, uh, very, very impressive. Uh, I would like to please ask you, how do you envision, how do you envision that this IBTM world will uh, be different than uh, the ones that will come after, I mean, what I'm trying to get from you is how do you see the future of the events and mice industry? And taking this as an experience, a real experience that is happening after COVID, how, how, how do you envision the future of the industry? So I think there's going to be a huge uh, spike of, um, because we know there's a pent up demand for getting back to face to face. So first of all, it's, it's about the future is the short term future is about the recovery. So I would say by um, the end of 2022, so effectively this time next year, the industry will be back to the 2019 levels. 
So I believe that when we get back to the show next year, you'll see a show that is of a similar size to 2019. Um, but I do think in terms of long term, um, there's going to be the implementation, and I'm sure you have no surprise in me saying this, of around tech and digitalizing the event experience. Um, and actually being able to gain an understanding of what your audience is actually doing um, and actually what are they interested in so what are they saying before you get to the event that they're interested in what are they doing at the event are they actually doing the stuff that you've put on um, and then what do they think of the event afterwards so you, you're constantly trying to use the the technology to continue to grow and build a more tailored and improved event um, so yeah that's that's part of it and then i think for trade shows so i can really speak on trade shows um just thinking from 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 my perspective i think there'll be a lot more around um digitalizing lead opportunity so allow it allowing for people to really build up new business contact um and i think there'll be there's something really interesting happening in the moment around the online experience um i think where we are now is actually quite different to where we're going to be in about three or four years time. So at the moment, the, the, the kind of trade show space in particular, but also the event space, it, it's effectively what we've gone from is taking a live event, then we, then we replaced it with an online event. And now we're, now we're in a space of live and online, right? So which everyone's calling hybrid. Correct. The hybrid experience is going to evolve significantly over the next sort of five years plus. But where we are now is really in its infancy and, and, and it's not the long term option. So just having a live event and then a, a meetings online platform straight after, which is what we're doing this year, is not the long term stress, you know, strategy. I think I think there's something around digital marketplaces that is very interesting, but it's uh, there's not much more that I can say about it because there's a lot more work to do on understanding the buyer journey. That will then allow to create um and why why talking about future if we can talk about present here now and i can tell you that it's not an event or a trade show it's a community you have created a community because obviously you provide all the professionals present here be it individual corporate branch leaders venues it doesn't matter the most important is that we all have one thing in common which is the passion for what we do and with whom we would like to do it or we are currently doing it. So uh, what I would like to just uh, take this last, last, last five minutes with you, it's to please highlight how many people did attend to this magnificent trade show this year? I mean, in terms of exhibitors, how many, how much presence from different markets do you currently have today here exhibiting and, and working together in this uh, platform or trade show? Yeah. So yeah. yes, yeah, so we have uh, over twelve hundred exhibitors that are, are exhibiting here today. From how many countries or regions around the world? All the all the the, the world, the whole world is present here, right? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. From so I believe it, so I believe it's uh, sixty six countries. Sixty six uh, countries yeah. and over twelve thousand exhibitors. Twelve hundred. Yes. Twelve hundred yeah. exhibitors, and obviously you are aiming to next year increase those figures back up as you mentioned as it used to be pre-covid and that's very challenging so all i want to know is if you would like to please send a message for those who did not make it uh, this year and who would love to make it next year and especially to all the mice community to encourage them to to use your platform your community and your resources uh, to keep on increasing the passion yes. that we all have for our industry well okay so there's actually not that many people that haven't participated because we do this online event so it's it, i guess this is more of a message to the people that were online so we know that they wanted to be a part of ibtm this year but couldn't make it so you know what we what we hope for is that the 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 environment around us becomes more consistent and that will allow for our, our our partners, our exhibitors that couldn't make it this year to be at the show next year. We will warmly welcome welcome them, and I know that they're keen to be back, and we're keen to have them. So, uh, yes, we look forward to that. And as a professional, 
what would be the biggest change that you would like to implement as the exhibition director for IBTM World in Barcelona uh, within uh, the next 12 months ahead till the next uh, 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 trade show or MICE Expo that will take place uh, in 2022? Um, I think it's just continuing to build on what we've done here. So there's a, there's a million there's a million things we could we could adapt or uh, improve on. There always is. It's a case of being able to go away from here, understand what our audience is saying. So we do a whole review process after the event. We speak to our community. We understand what they want, what they liked about the show, what they didn't, and then we build on that. So for me to state now what I want to change, I think would be premature because it would demonstrate that I'm not listening to my com community um, at the right time. So yeah. if you come and ask me that in about two months time, I'll give you a, a more concrete answer because I'll be ready to, to make those changes. But, you know, one of the things that I do want to do on a, on a more kind of, I would say, fairly basic level is I want to bring a lot of the content back onto the show floor. So we had a lot of the content off the show floor for really primarily for safety reasons. Um, as you can see, we have the, the knowledge program just just next to us. That I want that back on the show floor. You know, when, when you have content on the show floor, it just creates even more of a vibrant experience. So that's what that if if that answers your question. That that's I I just have to thank you very much for allowing all the mice community not only to do events but most specifically to enjoy business while working. So, uh, in the events industry, in the mice industry, thanks to professionals such as yourself, thanks to platforms such as IBTM World, uh, our life, our work, and our future will be brighter. So, thank you very much for your time, sir. And anything else you would like to send uh, uh, to the international community as a message? Um, just that, you know, the, the resilience that we've shown over these last 18 months uh, is inspiring for me, and I think it's inspiring for, for everyone around the world. To see the people in the hall uh, this week just just shows how much uh, passion that this industry has uh, and how collectively, through effort together, uh, we can really rebuild this uh, whole industry over the next 12 months. So I just, yeah, I'm just so grateful to everyone that's come here this week, and I just can't wait now for next year, to be honest, to bring everyone back again together inspiring events to work differently and enjoy so thank you very much for your time sir and 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 let's uh, enjoy the show yeah. <laughs> All right.